Hello, my name is Lydia. Today I'm going to show you a video about my pageant. In my life, I was able to compete in several pageants. It was a great way to keep myself in shape. This one in from 2006, when I was 49 years old, I was selected as a Mrs. Washington United States to compete in a nationally televised pageant held in Las Vegas, Nevada. I had a wonderful time and it was a great experience. Please subscribe, do comments, don't forget likes. Welcome to the glittering city of Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight the very brightest stars will be shining on the stage of the Orleans Hotel and Casino for the 2006 Mrs. United States pageant. Tonight's host is Mr. Jay Joseph. For the past 26 years, Jay has been performing on both the East and West Coasts in musical theater, production shows, cruise lines, television, and radio. He most recently appeared as Billy Flynn in the National Tour of Chicago. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Jay Joseph. Good evening, and welcome to the 2006 Mrs. United States pageant. This pageant pays tribute to America's married women, recognizing their strength, beauty, wisdom, and success of married women everywhere. Tonight, 53 of the most beautiful married women from each state, as well as the District of Columbia, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands will compete for the title of Mrs. United States 2006. Now, I've had the pleasure of working with each of them during rehearsals, and judges, I would not want to be in your seats this evening. And now, let's welcome all of our beautiful delegates wearing their state costumes. Our Mrs. United States delegates in their state costumes. Welcome, ladies. Representing Wing Victory, who graces our state capitol building, I am Paula Powell, Mrs. Arizona. From America's only diamond mine, the natural state, I am Mandy Thomas, Mrs. Arkansas. California became a state on September 9th, 1850 as the last territory to accept independence from Spain. The legend of Zorro remains. I am Mrs. California, Melanie Demure. From the land that represents the Amer uh, America the Beautiful, I am Jamie Warbington, representing the snow-capped Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Celebrating life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I am Phyllis Winters, Mrs. Connecticut, proudly, rep proudly representing my state, the Constitution State. I am Meredith Candeloro, representing the first state, Delaware, and we are the home of tax-free shopping. Representing our nation's capital and sending out a heartfelt thank you to the men and women of our military serving at home and abroad. I am Miss District of Columbia, Angela Harwell. With over 48 tribes throughout our beautiful state, that's why the Indian Princess is on our state seal. I am Kelly Hazel Pickens, Mrs. Florida. Representing
representing our capital with its dome of gold, site of the first U.S. gold rush, representing Georgia, I am Sherry Goggin. Half a day from the beautiful island of Guam and where America's day begins. I am, I am an Amer I am a native tomorrow. My name is Gloria May Ugan Frias. Aloha from the beaches of Waikiki. I am Cynthia Yu, Mrs. Hawaii. This word Idaho than just potatoes, representing the state known for ski resorts, precious gems, and the beautiful mountain bluebird. I'm Nicole Gearing, Mrs. Idaho. From the Hoosier State and home to the 90th running of the Indianapolis 500, I am Debbie Sankowski, Mrs. Indiana. From the Tallcorn State, I am Lindsay Maxwell Galanakis, and I am Mrs. Iowa. The Kansas State flower is the sunflower, which is richly emblematic of a golden future. Representing the sunflower state, I am Dr. Kimberly McDowell, Mrs. Kansas. I'm from the state with the winningest college basketball program in the nation. I am Molly Jane Hoskins representing Kentucky. Go Big Blue! Representing all the angels that came to help to my great city of New Orleans, I'm so proud to be here as your Mrs. Louisiana United States, Alicia Black Wimberly. MainGems.com has adorned me with the rarest and most vibrant colors of Main State Gem Tourmaline. I'm Elizabeth Hamilton Garino, Mrs. Maine. As a member of the very first Baltimore Ravens professional cheerleading squad, I bring you greetings from the home of the 2000 NFL World Champions, the Baltimore Ravens. I am proud to be Mrs. Maryland United States, Adrian Watson Carver. A second grade class wanting a state bug convinced the legislator to vote me as the new ladybug. I am Mrs. Massachusetts, Michelle Schaub. Once they were on the verge of extinction, today my home state boasts one of the fastest growing populations of timber wolves in the United States. Representing the Great Lakes State, this is my friend Timber, and I'm Christina Austin Scarcelli, Mrs. Michigan. Representing the St. Paul Winter Carnival, our nation's oldest and largest winter festival, I am Mrs. Minnesota, Ellen Sendelbach. Rebuilding our state in the wake of Hurricane Katrina, I'm Shante Torello, representing Mississippi. <laughs> Greetings, representing the St. Louis Arch, the gateway to the West, I am Tessa Hurd, Mrs. Missouri. <laughs> representing the Big Sky Treasure State, celebrating the bicentennial of Lewis and Clark, I am Robin Malik, Mrs. Montana. Representing the Corn Husker State, home of Kool-Aid, Boys and Girls Town, USA, and our winning tradition, University of Nebraska football team, I am Jennifer Byers, Mrs. Nebraska. As a fourth generation Nevada, I welcome you to my hometown, Las Vegas. Known as the Silver State for its glittering prosperity, which makes Nevada the ideal place to live the American dream. I am Mrs. Nevada, Juliet Kimoto. Proudly 
representing the Granite State as the Purple Finch, I am Allison Meter, Mrs. New Hampshire. Where casino gambling, one arm bandits meet 127 miles of white sandy beaches, proudly representing New Jersey, I'm Susan Huntley. From the top of the White Sands National Monument, where you can see the Aztec sunset, join me in the land of enchantment. Representing New Mexico, I am Tamara Wisbaum. Our New York Yankees amass 26 world championships and 39 pennants. I am Jennifer Schintesteller, your Mrs. New York United States. by the tallest lighthouse in the United States. I represent the beautiful design of the Cape Hatteras. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shannon Devine, Mrs. North Carolina. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Just as every snowflake is unique, so are the wonderful people of the great state of, New of North Dakota. I am Tracy Carson, representing North Dakota. Dayton, Ohio is the birthplace of aviation. I am Donna Hazel Glansman. This is Ohio, United States, representing the women who stood beside the Wright brothers as they fulfilled their amazing dream. Oklahoma means land of the red man. I'm Samantha Lindsay, representing the great state of Oklahoma. From the heart of the Northwest, where our lush green landscapes are only a rainbow away, from Oregon, I am Jodine Barba. You can find the Liberty Bell in the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia, I am Joyelle Scavone, Mrs. Pennsylvania. Our tropical climate and luxurious rainforest is home to the largest population of wild parrots in the world. Mi nombre es Yolanda Rodriguez, and yo soy Señora Puerto Rico. Representing the ocean state, Hoping that I float your boat, I'm Tracy Pangonis, Mrs. Rhode Island. Smiling faces, beautiful places, and what's more beautiful than our state flower, the yellow jasmine. Representing South Carolina, I am Patty Mercer. Converged as a hub and put this state on the map. Representing the Mount Rushmore state, I am your conductor, Mrs. South Dakota, Brandy Townsend. Howdy! Representing Minnie Pearl, the man chasing Spencer from Grinder Switch, Tennessee, I am Mrs. Tennessee's Ryan Kelly. I am proud to represent the state of Texas, which is host of not only 12 military bases, but the home of 30,000 active duty troops currently fighting to support our freedom. Representing the Lone Star State, I am Jennifer Hayden. Home of the 2002 Winter Olympics and the greatest snow on earth, representing Utah, Alicia Warnock. Representing the Green Mountain State of Vermont, I am Rashida Taylor. Our nation's own Caribbean paradise, where you can experience the sun, the sand, and calypso music. I'm Tiffany Ellison, Mrs. Virgin Islands. Beware of Cupid's arrow. 
while traveling through our state as our state motto is, Virginia's for lovers. I am Janie Phillips, Mrs. Virginia. I represent our beautiful state flower, Terada Dendron. I'm Lydia Zedek, Mrs. Washington. Almost Heaven, West Virginia is our state slogan. I am your West Virginia angel, Stephanie Poe. From the home of Harley Davidson, I am Cassie Pinter, Mrs. Wisconsin. Where cowboys roam free and women were given the right to vote first. Representing the Equality State, I am Kimberly Takla, Mrs. Wyoming. And please keep that applause going for all of our delegates in their state costumes. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. You look beautiful. You know, it takes many hours and a lot of skill and creativity to create these wonderful state costumes. Please give them one more round of applause. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to know how Mrs. United States is selected. Our state representatives are scored in three categories, private judges interview, swimsuit, and evening gown competitions. We have provided the judges with a worksheet for keeping score as the state's representatives appear in each phase of the competition. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our state delegates in their swimsuit competition. Starting with Mrs. Alabama. Melissa Swilling. Melissa met her husband, Ed, during a job interview. She is a partner at a large law firm. After suffering a stroke in 2004, she became a spokesperson for the American Stroke Association. Her experience has given Melissa the best blessings of her life, including a baby girl. Mrs. Alaska, Brandy Prefontaine. Brandy is here showcasing her strength and determination. Though not looking for fish in icy spring streams or facing wild animals in the woods, she knows that what you do today determines your tomorrow, and she greets this with a smile. Mrs. Arizona, Paula Powell. Paula and her husband Keith live in Scottsdale, Arizona. In her spare time, she enjoys being involved at church, ballroom dancing, hiking, and camping with her husband. Las Vegas is special to Paula because this is where she and her husband had their first date and were later married. Mrs. Arkansas, Amanda Thomas. Mandy is proud of the title she holds, wife, mother, businesswoman, and Mrs. Arkansas. Each is equal in importance as she works toward a strong family, community, and state through her career and volunteer work. Mrs. California, Melanie Demure. Melanie has been married to her husband Jeffrey for 14 years. They have three children, Jeremy, JT, and Emily. In her spare time, Melanie squeezes in ownership of an architectural firm, community involvement, and running. Mrs. Colorado, Jamie Warbington. Jamie met her husband Doyle at the age of 11, and their life experiences range from roller skating to country dancing, and from England to Africa. Jamie's motivation strengthened their childhood friendship into a flourishing marriage of 16 years and three amazing children. Mrs. 
This is Connecticut. Phyllis Winters. Phyllis is celebrating her 24th wedding anniversary, her 51st birthday, and her son's second grade achievements. Phyllis loves that her life stages are blended. Being a successful entrepreneur and the mother of a young son provides for a unique perspective and many interesting opportunities for their family. <laughs> Mrs. Delaware, Meredith Candeloro. Meredith's greatest inspiration is her son, Stefano. That inspiration has led her to create Mothers Are Mothers Always, a support group that embraces both working and stay-at-home moms. Mrs. District of Columbia, Angela Harwell. Angela is extremely proud to represent not only our nation's capital, but also the Hole in the Wall campus founded by Paul Newman. It is her greatest desire that every chronically ill child gets to enjoy this amazing camping experience free of charge. Mrs. Florida, Kelly Hazer Pickens. Adventure sleeping is what the Pickens family enjoys doing together. They often build a fort in their living room where they have pizza, popcorn, and watch old movies. Then they fall asleep under their blankets and tents. Mrs. Georgia, Sherry Goggin. Sherry enjoys league tennis, cardio spin classes, and weight training. However, Sherry admits her best workouts are chasing her three-year-old triplets. She and her husband Tom enjoy watching Jane Bond movies and look forward to their weekly date nights. <laughs> Mrs. Guam. Gloria May Agon Frias. Gloria May is a native Chamorro, born and raised on the island of Guam. She is a kindergarten teacher. Her husband is Peter Frias, who is a firefighter with the Guam Fire Department. They have four beautiful children, Samantha 12, Jason 9, Jacob 7, and Sabrina 2. <laughs> Mrs. Hawaii, Cynthia Ayu. Cynthia is proud to represent this beautiful state. She enjoys surfing, dancing, hula and Tahitian, and instructing Taekwondo. She volunteers her time with Awan as an inspirational speaker of postpartum depression. Mrs. Idaho, Nicole Gehring. Nicole loves spending quality time with her husband and three boys. Being the only woman in her home, she looks forward to testosterone-filled weekend adventures. In the winter, these include following her family up the mountains on their snowmobiles. Mrs. Indiana, Debbie Sinkowski. Debbie is the mother of four children ages 19 to 25 and the proud grandmother of two-year-old Avery Victoria. Her hobbies include fashion design, modeling, collecting antique jewelry, and riding with her husband Tom and their pug Niles on their Harley. Mrs. Iowa, Lindsay Maxwell Galanakis. Lindsay and her husband, Tony, have been married for two years. They have two boys, Taven, two and a half, and Tegan, one. Lindsay feels truly honored to represent the state of Iowa. Mrs. Kansas, Dr. Kimberly McDowell. As a newspaper reporter stated in a recent article, McDowell, a native Kansan, is more than just toned. She is Kansas beautiful, thin but strong, feet firmly planted, blonde but smart, focused on goals, with compassion and a face as open as a prairie sunflower turned to light. <laughs> Mrs. Kentucky, Molly Jane Hoskins. Molly earned the right to wear her swimsuit after losing 50 pounds by dedicating herself to proper nutrition and exercise. Molly's lifestyle changes have made her healthier, happier, and more beautiful than ever. She's an inspiration to us all. <laughs> Mrs. Louisiana, Alicia Black Wimberly. Alicia is the proud wife of Jesse L. Wimberly III. They have three boys ages 15, 14, and 12. Alicia is an accomplished vocalist and has traveled singing at churches and fundraisers. She is an advocate for juvenile diabetes and is involved with Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> Mrs. Maine, Elizabeth Hamilton Garino. 
The honor of being chosen Mrs. Maine has allowed Elizabeth to expand on her already existing cookies and milk literacy program. She's made over 100 appearances in over 15 states. Elizabeth's efforts have caught the attention and accolades of stars such as Robin Williams and Keith Lou Sullivan. Mrs. Marilyn, Adrian Watson Carver. Adrian appeared as a featured guest on the Oprah Winfrey Show. Selected from 15,000 entries, she was one of three amazing moms to receive star treatment for a day. Her ultimate goal is to follow in Oprah's footsteps and host her own nationally syndicated talk show. <laughs> Mrs. Massachusetts, Michelle Sharp. Michelle is married to her best friend, John. She is active in her community, organizing charity fundraisers, volunteering weekly with homeless children, and has run the Boston Marathon twice for cancer research. Michelle earned her master's degree in school administration and enjoys being an assistant principal. <laughs> Mrs. Michigan, Christina Austin Scarcelli. Christina is a spokesperson working to inspire women to make a difference in the quality of their midlife experiences through fitness and nutrition, proactive health care, and a positive attitude. She enjoys staying in shape, playing pond hockey with her husband Jason, and being walked by their two Siberian Huskies. Mrs. Minnesota, Ellen Sendelbach. Ellen thoroughly enjoys the thrill of riding roller coasters, especially with her nieces. Their all-time favorite ride is Millennium Force with its exhilarating 300-foot drop. Ellen and her husband Mark enjoy cruising with the Midlife Crisis Car Club and volunteering their time to the Casa Hogar Orphanage and Medical Mission in Lurin, Peru. <laughs> Mrs. Mississippi, Shante Torello. Shante enjoys spending time with her husband and family being outdoors, but most of all, she loves her special needs children. They have had a profound impact on her life and are the basis of her philosophy, let your life speak. <laughs> Mrs. Missouri, Tessa Hurd. Tessa is a woman committed to marriage, family, and community. She has been married to her husband, John, for 12 years. She is an engineer and holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical Engineering and an Executive MBA. Tessa is a youth motivational speaker and has spoken to nearly 7,000 youth on goals and determination. Mrs. Montana, Robin Malik. In addition to modeling and pageantry, Robin is a big fan of local football, rodeos and concerts. She also enjoys spending quality time with her family. She's a country girl with a warm country heart. <laughs> Mrs. Nebraska, Jennifer Byers. Jennifer and her husband have worked on several home remodeling projects together, including building a chicken shack for their backyard flock. She even owns her own tool belt now. Mrs. Nevada. <laughs> Juliet Komodo. Rare, sculptured, and classically beautiful describes Juliet's red 1965 Mustang. Rare also describes this loving mother of six. Sculpted results from daily exercise and a healthy lifestyle. Her classic beauty radiates through selfless service to family and community. <laughs> Mrs. New Hampshire. Allison Meter. Allison has her Master of Science degree in exercise science. She is currently employed as an exercise physiologist and works in general wellness, diabetes re rehabilitation, and cardiology. In her spare time, Allison enjoys dancing, softball, and teaching Taekwondo to elementary school students. Mrs. New Jersey, Susan Huntley. An adventurer at heart, this world traveler has skied the Austrian Alps, hiked the mountains of Japan, and has braved the rapids in Switzerland. A certified scuba diver and former lifeguard, this native of New Jersey shore grew up with the sand between her toes. <laughs> Mrs. New Mexico, Tamara Wisbaum. Tamara packs her bag, bathing suit, beach towel, book, and brings her beagle named Biscuit to a fun and relaxing day of boating with her husband Tom. This is one of their favorite pastimes. He is the captain and she's his first mate. <laughs> Mrs. New York, 
Jennifer Shinta Steller. The effects of Jennifer's brain injuries are lifelong, which has ignited her passion for her platform and given her a mission in life. Doctors told Jennifer and her husband that she'd never be on stage again. Her persistence, determination, and faith proved them wrong. Mrs. North Carolina. Shannon Devine. Shannon has been blessed with a loving and supportive family, a successful marriage and career. She and Jason will celebrate their sixth wedding anniversary in December. Shannon says the key to a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Mrs. North Dakota, Tracy Carson. Tracy is happily married to Carl. Together they have three wonderful children, Tyler, Austin, and Emily. Among her many accomplishments, she is a published author and has mastered the art of multitasking to perfection. <laughs> Mrs. Ohio, Donna Hazel Glansman. Donna has a master's degree in English and is president of her own public relations firm. She is a published author and an avid golfer. Her platform, The Power of Volunteering, epitomizes her tireless commitment to worthwhile causes. Faith in God and love of family are the foundation of Donna's life. Mrs. Oklahoma, Samantha Lindsay. Samantha believes strongly that the difference between those who attempt and those who achieve is heart. She would not be where she is today without her loving husband and supportive family. Mrs. Oregon, Jodine Barba. Jodine is a 31-year-old wife and mother from Oregon. Her most proud achievement is being a wife and mother of two precious boys, Alec and Adrian. She enjoys mountain biking and gardening with her husband. Mrs. Pennsylvania, Joyelle Christina Scavone. Joyelle is a licensed cosmetologist and specializes in formal styles at a prestigious salon in New York City. She was also a ballerina of 13 years and enjoys collecting inspirational quotes and her talent for writing calligraphy. <laughs> Mrs. Puerto Rico, Yolanda Rodriguez. Mrs. Puerto Rico is the ultimate overachiever. At the age of 21, she completed her college education, was signed as a professional model with agencies in New York and Miami, had opened her first business, and was a proud mother. <laughs> Mrs. Rhode Island, Tracy Pangonis. Tracy is an exercise instructor and fanatic. In her daily routine, she tones her arms by curling Wendy's three-quarter pounders, builds her agility by juggling delivered dominoes, and cools down with her friends Ben and Jerry, low fat of course. <laughs> Mrs. South Carolina, Patty Mercer. At the age of three, a tour guide at Disney World told Patty's mom her daughter had dancer legs. Patty's dance education gave her the confidence to overcome an early childhood speech disorder. Patty believes that all children need confidence to build a strong foundation for success. <laughs> Mrs. South Dakota, Brandy Townsend. Brandy enjoys staying active, snow skiing, water skiing, and working with horses. However, the majority of her energy is spent keeping up with two kids in her life, her two-year-old daughter, Mikili, and husband of seven years, Eli. <laughs> Mrs. Tennessee, Ryan Kelly. Now you may recognize Ryan from NBC's hit reality show, The Biggest Loser, season two, where she successfully lost 78 pounds in nine months. She's been married for nine years to Alan Kelly and has two daughters, Hannah and Sayla. <laughs> Mrs. Texas, Jennifer Hayden. Jennifer holds a Bachelor of Arts in Communications. She is an account executive in the media advertising industry and has been married for three years to her husband, Jazz. They are the proud parents of a beautiful two-year-old daughter named Celie. <laughs> Mrs. Utah, Alicia Warnock. 
You wouldn't guess, but Mrs. Utah has been a spokesperson for the Eddie Eagle program for the last eight years, a national campaign to promote responsible gun ownership and gun safety. For fun, Alicia enjoys dancing and keeping up with her one-year-old little boy, fighting her husband over who has to get out of bed to turn the lights off at night. Mrs. Vermont, Rashida Taylor. Rashida is married to Travis Taylor, who is currently away at training camp with the Minnesota Vikings. They have three beautiful daughters, ages seven, five, and two. Rashida has a tenacious and adventurous spirit, which allows her to do anything she sets her mind to, including having a baby on national TV on A Baby Story. Mrs. Virgin Islands, Tiffany Ellison. Tiffany and her husband Jared cherish each of their four lovely children who couldn't be more excited to be here tonight encouraging their mom. Her greatest delight is when her children show kindness and compassion. And if it happens while she's eating chocolate, it's a joy beyond joy. <laughs> Mrs. Virginia. Janie Wines Phillips. Janie is a deputy sheriff for the Rappahannock Country Sh County Sheriff's Office. She shares her life with her husband, Brandon, and their two daughters, Brooklyn Seven and Alexandra Two. <laughs> Mrs. Washington, Lydia Zadig. Lydia is a social worker and enjoys the fact that she can help people overcome the difficulties and trauma in their life. She believes it is important that people have a positive outlook and have hope for their future. Mrs. West Virginia, Stephanie Poe. Stephanie hopes that her youth group, We Are, will help to motivate young ladies to always have something positive to say about themselves. With confidence, we can accomplish anything. Mrs. Wisconsin, Cassie Pinter. Cassie, a mother of three, says her favorite family activities include bike rides, game nights, swimming, and vacations up north. She also enjoys running, weight training, cardio kickboxing, photography, and videography. Mrs. Wyoming, Kimberly Takla. Kimberly is known to her friends and families as an unusually happy person who sees the best in everyone. She's a bit of a comedian who loves to make people laugh, especially the medically fragile children she meets as a national spokesperson for Sparrow Clubs USA. Thank you, ladies. Well, you've seen our 53 beautiful delegates in their swimsuit competition. She's your 2005 Mrs. United States, Dr. Chian Fan Gibson. You're full of surprises, aren't you? Pulling me up from the audience. Well, it's a pleasure to be here tonight, and it's a tough competition for all these girls. And um, I thank the judges from last year for giving me a great opportunity. So it's been a great year. The evening gown competition. We can't think of a more appropriate way to conclude tonight's presentation than to have all of our lovely delegates come on stage to dazzle and delight you in their exquisite gowns. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present the most beautiful married woman in the United States, and among them is the next, Mrs. United States 2006. Let's welcome our state delegates in their evening gown competition. Starting with Mrs. Alabama, Melissa Zwilling. Alaska, Brandy Prefontaine. <laughs> Mrs. 
is Arizona. Paulo Powell. This is Arkansas, Mandy Thomas. This is California, Melanie Demure. This is Colorado, Jamie Warbington. This is Connecticut. Phyllis Winters. This is Delaware. Meredith Candelaro. This is District of Columbia, Angela Harwell. This is Florida, Kelly Hazer Pickens. This is Georgia, Sherry Goggin. This is Hawaii, Cynthia Ayu. This is Idaho, Nicole Gearing. This is Indiana, Debbie Sinkowski. This is 
Iowa, Lindsay Maxwell Galanakis. Mrs. Kansas, Dr. Kimberly McDowell. Mrs. Kentucky, Molly Jane Hoskins. Mrs. Louisiana, Alicia Black Wimberly. This is Maine, Elizabeth Hamilton Garino. Massachusetts, Michelle Sharp. This is Michigan, Christina Austin Scarcelli. Minnesota, Ellen Sengelka. This is Mississippi, Shantae Torello. This is Missouri, Tessa Hurd. This is Montana, Robin Mallet. Nebraska, Jennifer Byers. This is Nevada. Juliet 
Komodo. This is New Hampshire, Allison Meter. Mrs. New Jersey, Susan Huntley. This is New Mexico, Tamra Wisbom. South 
Carolina, Patty Mercer. This is South Dakota. Brandy Townsend. Texas, Jennifer Hayden. This is Utah. This is U.S. Virgin Islands, Tiffany Ellison. Virginia, Janie Wines Phillips. West Virginia, Stephanie Poe. Wisconsin, Cassie Pinter. This 
Texas, Wyoming. Kimberly Takla. Thank you, ladies. Now, please help me welcome all of our delegates back to the stage in their evening gowns. This concludes our preliminary competition. Please join us tomorrow night at 8 p.m. for the coronation of Mrs. United States 2006. Good night, drive safe, we'll see you tomorrow. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the glittering city of Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight we celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Mrs. United States National Pageant. Tonight's host is Mr. Jay Joseph. For the past 26 years, he has been performing on both the East and West Coast in production shows, musical theater, television, radio, and cruise lines. His latest performance was playing Billy Flynn in the National Tour of Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen... Mr. J. Joseph. Good evening, and welcome to the 2006 Mrs. United States pageant. This pageant pays tribute to America's married women, recognizing their strength, beauty, wisdom, and success of married women everywhere. Tonight, 53 of the most beautiful married women from each state, as well as the District of Columbia, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the beautiful Virgin Islands will compete for the title of Mrs. United States 2006. And here they are, our Mrs. United States delegates in their state costumes. Welcome, ladies. State Capitol Building, I am Paula Powell, Mrs. Arizona. From the only place in America that you can dig for diamonds, from the natural state, I am Mandy Thomas, Mrs. Arkansas. California became a state on September 9th, 1850 as the last territory to accept independence from Spain. Out of the night, when the full moon is bright, comes a horseman known as Zorro. The legend lives on. I am Mrs. California, Melanie Demure. From the land that inspired the writing of America the Beautiful, I am Jamie Warbington, representing the snow-capped Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Celebrating life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, I am Phyllis Winters, Mrs. Connecticut, proudly representing my home, the Constitution State. I am Meredith Candeloro, representing the first state, Delaware, and we are the home 
of tax-free shopping. Proudly representing our nation's capital and sending out a heartfelt thank you to the men and women of our military serving at home and abroad. I am Mrs. DC, Angela Harwell. With over 48 tribes throughout our beautiful state, that's why the Indian Princess is on our state seal. I am Kelly Hazer Pickens, Mrs. Florida. Representing our capital with its dome of gold, site of the first U.S. gold rush, going for the gold, I'm Mrs. Georgia Sherry Goggins. America's Day begins. I am Gloria May Ugenfrius. Aloha from the famous beaches of Waikiki. I am Cynthia Ayu, Mrs. Hawaii. There's more to Idaho than potatoes. Representing the state known for ski resorts, precious gems, and the beautiful mountain bluebird. I'm Nicole Gehring, Mrs. Idaho. From the Hoosier State and home to the 90th running of the Indianapolis 500, I am Debbie Sankowski, Mrs. Indiana. From the Talicorn State, my name is Lindsay Maxwell Galanakis, and I am Mrs. Iowa. The Kansas State flower is the sunflower, which is richly emblematic of a golden future. Representing the Sunflower State, I'm Kimberly McDowell, Mrs. Kansas. I'm from the state with the winningest college basketball program in the nation. I am Molly Jane Hoskins, representing Kentucky. Go Big Blue! Representing all of the angels that came to my hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana. With much thanks, I am your Mrs. Louisiana, United States, Alicia Black Wimberly. MainGems.com has adorned me with the rarest and most vibrant colors of Maine State Gem Tourmaline. I'm Elizabeth Hamilton Garino, Mrs. Maine. As a member of the very first professional Baltimore Ravens cheerleading squad, I bring you cheers from the home of the 2000 NFL World Champions. I am proud to be Mrs. Maryland, United States, Adrian Watson Carver. A second grade class wanting a state bug convinced the legislator to vote me into state law. I am the Massachusetts Ladybug, Michelle Shop. Once they were on the verge of extinction. Today, my home state boasts one of the fastest growing populations of Timberwolves in the United States. Representing the Great Lakes State, this is my friend Timber, and I'm Christina Austin Scarcelli, Mrs. Michigan. Representing the St. Paul Winter Carnival, our nation's oldest and largest winter festival, I am Mrs. Minnesota, Ellen Sendelbach. Rebuilding our state in the wake of Hurricane Katrina, I'm Shante Torello, representing Mississippi. Good evening. The St. Louis Arch is known as the Gateway to the West. Representing Missouri, I am Tessa Hurd. Representing the Big Sky and Treasure State, celebrating the bicentennial of Lewis and Clark, I am Robin Malik, Mrs. Montana. Representing the Corn Husker State, home of Kool Aid, Boys and Girls Town, USA, and our winning tradition, University of Nebraska football team, I am Jennifer Byers, Mrs. Nebraska.
as a fourth generation Nevada, and I welcome you to my hometown, Las Vegas, known as the Silver State for its glittering prosperity, which makes Nevada the ideal place to live the American dream. I am Mrs. Nevada, Juliet Kimoto. Proudly representing the Granite State as the Purple Finch, I am Allison Meter, Mrs. New Hampshire. Casino Gambling's One-Armed Bandits meet 127 miles of white sandy beaches, proudly representing New Jersey. I'm Susan Huntley. From the top of the White Sands National Monument, where you can see the Aztec sunset, join me in the land of enchantment. Representing New Mexico, I am Tamara Wisbaum. Our New York Yankees amassed 26 world championships, and I am Jennifer Schintesteller, the proud representative of New York. Inspired by the tallest lighthouse in the United States, I represent the beautiful design of the Cape Hatteras. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shannon Devine, Mrs. North Carolina. Welcome! Just as every snowflake is unique, so are the wonderful people of Bism of North Dakota. I am Tracy Carson, representing North Dakota! Dayton, Ohio is the birthplace of aviation. Good evening, I'm Donna Hazel Glansman, this is Ohio, United States, representing the women who supported the Wright brothers in their amazing dream. The name Oklahoma means land of the red man. I'm Samantha Lindsay representing the great state of Oklahoma. From the heart of the Northwest, where our lush green landscapes are only a rainbow away, from Oregon, I am Jodine Barba. You can find the Liberty Bell in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. I am Joyelle Scavone, Mrs. Pennsylvania. Our tropical climate and luscious rainforest was home to the largest population of wild parrots in the world. Mi nombre es Yolanda Rodriguez y yo soy Señora Puerto Rico. Representing the ocean state, hoping that I'm the one to float your boat, I am Mrs. Rhode Island, Tracy Pangones. Smiling faces, beautiful places, and what's more beautiful than our state flower, the yellow jasmine. Representing South Carolina, I am Patty Mercer. Nine rail lines converged as a hub and put this state on the map. Representing the Mount Rushmore state, I am your conductor, Mrs. South Dakota, Brandy Townsend. Howdy! I'm representing Minnie Pearl, the man chasing spinster from Grinder Switch, Tennessee. I am Ryan Kelly, your Mrs. Tennessee. I am proud to represent Texas, which is host of not only 12 military bases, but home of 30,000 active duty troops currently protecting our freedom. Representing the Lone Star State, I am Jennifer Hayden. Home of the 2002 Winter Olympics and the greatest snow on earth, representing Utah, Alicia Warnock. Representing the Green Mountain State of Vermont, I am Rashida Taylor. Our nation's own Caribbean paradise where you can experience the sun, the sand, and calypso music 
I'm Tiffany Ellison, Mrs. Virgin Islands. Beware of Cupid's arrow while traveling through our state. As our state motto reads, Virginia is for lovers. I am Janie Phillips, Mrs. Virginia. I represent our beautiful state flower, the Rhododendron. I'm Lydia Zedek, Mrs. Washington. Almost Heaven, West Virginia is our state slogan. I am your West Virginia angel, Mrs. West Virginia, Stephanie Poe. From the home of Harley Davidson, I'm Cassie Pinter, Mrs. Wisconsin. Where cowboys roam free and women were given the right to vote first, representing the Equality State, I am Kimberly Takla, Mrs. Wyoming. Let's hear it for all of our delegates in their state costumes. Now, a lot of time and effort goes into making each one of these costumes, and tonight we have two women who had the difficult task of picking the two top state costumes, and we would like to announce the winners at this time. The second place costume goes to Mrs. New Jersey, Susan Huntley. And our first place costume goes to Mrs. Missouri, Tessa Hurd. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the Mrs. United States pageant is proud to announce some exciting news. The mayor of the city of Las Vegas has issued a proclamation that says July 23rd to July 27th is Mrs. United States pageant days. The prestigious honor is bestowed upon Isabella Ilacqua, founder and executive producer of the United States pageant, for choosing the city of Las Vegas to host this respected pageant. Thank you, Mayor Goodman, for this important recognition. And thank you, Isabella. Thank you very much, ladies. Let's hear it once again for all of our 53 delegates in their state costumes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back our delegates to the stage as they perform their production number for you.
Let's hear it for all of our ladies. Well, we've come to that exciting moment when we find out who our top 10 finalists will be, one of which will become Mrs. United States 2006. Jeff, may I have the envelope, please? All right. I'm going to call them out in random order. First is Texas. Our second top 10, Alabama. Our third top 10, Virginia. The fourth top 10, Georgia. Our fifth top 10, Kansas. Our sixth top 10, New Jersey. Our seventh, Virgin Islands. Our eighth, North Carolina. Our ninth top 10, Idaho. And our final top 10, are you ready ladies? New York. And let's hear it once again for all of our final top 10 winners for Mrs. United States, one of which will become Mrs. United States 2006. Well, good evening, ladies. I'm going to call you out in alphabetical order here, all right? And we'll do our questions. So if you can join me down here, Mrs. Alabama. Now, I will fan the cards out. You'll get a chance to choose whichever card you'd like. You go ahead and read it first, all right? There you go. I'll take this one. All right, go ahead and look at it first. Okay. If you were judging this pageant, what question would you ask the delegates? If I were judging the pageant, I would ask each of the delegates what they wanted to do with the title of Mrs. United States. I think that it's important that women of today not only just be pretty and uh, be able to get attention, but I think that it's important that they want to do something with the title and to accomplish something and to help touch the lives of everybody across the country. So that's what I would want to know from each of them, what they wanted to do with the title. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Alabama. Mrs. Georgia, would you join me? If you could be any age again, what would it be and why? If my children were here, they would say six. <laughs> but, you know, Jay, I'm so happy with being 36 that I could not imagine going to any other age. I have so many blessings. Um, I could not be happier and, you know, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I would be this age right now. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Georgia. Mrs. Idaho. Good evening. All right, if you were selected as Mrs. United States, what message would you share to the woman of America? Thank you, Jay. Well, when I think of a woman, I think of my grandma, who was my role model. And she and my grandfather owned a nursing home when I was growing up, and I volunteered in that home from the age of four on. And I would continue my efforts of the adopt -a grandparent program as Mrs. United States in getting volunteerism back into the school systems and teaching kids at a very young age the importance of stepping beyond themselves and giving back to their community. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Idaho. Mrs. Kansas. As Mrs. United States, what would you tell single women about married life? I would tell them, first of all, that it's important to marry your best friend, because this is someone you're going to spend your, the entire rest of your life with. I'd, I would also tell them that it's important to continue to foster your relationship with this person. It's very easy to get wrapped up in daily life with work and kids, and it, so it's important to take time out to maintain and foster your relationship. Thank you, Mrs. Kansas. Mrs. New Jersey. Okay, that'll be a good one. Go ahead and look. Okay. 
Okay. Tell us of a book you have read that has influenced your life and why. When I was in college, I read a book called Kitchen, and it's by Banana Yoshimoto. And after I read it, I thought, God, I have got to visit Japan. This country just seems surreal and incredible to me. And I was selected to teach for a year at English at Serai Women's Junior College in Akita, Japan, after I graduated college. And the experience literally changed my life. I was introduced to a new culture, a new language, and I came back with a greater appreciation of America. So that definitely changed my life, that book. Thank you. Mrs. New Jersey. <laughs> Mrs. New York. Hey, which one's the lucky one? Whichever you like. As Mrs. New York, how have you made a difference in your community? Well, as Mrs. New York, I was born and raised, I should say, in Buffalo, New York. And I was blessed to be able to come to this city and become a performer and have every dream come true. And on a vacation back home, I was in a car accident that caused a brain injury. And let me tell you, that brain injury has given me a mission and a passion in life. And that mission and that passion is to not only speak up for the brain injured individuals who no longer can speak and who have died from this, but also to speak up to those who are overcoming or trying to overcome adversity and show them that there is hope. And as Mrs. New York, I have made over 75 appearances within the two months that I have been crowned. And I'm very happy to tell you that I have raised $25,000 for the Brain Injury Association of America. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. New York. Mrs. North Carolina. As Mrs. North Carolina, how have you promoted your title? As Miss North Carolina, I had a mission, and I made a promise to a very special lady who's in the audience tonight, my stepmother, who is in need of a liver. And so as Mrs. North Carolina, I've been traveling the state talking about organ donation and how important it is to give others a second chance at life. Just by being an organ and tissue donor, you can save or enhance the lives of up to 50 people. And to me, it's just the best thing that you could choose to do to give someone else a second chance at living. So that's how I've promoted my title as Mrs. North Carolina. Thank you, Mrs. North Carolina. Mrs. Texas. What do you feel is the most important duty of Mrs. United States? Thank you, Jay. Obviously, it's hard to narrow it down just to one. I think that one of the most important duties is to always be true to yourself and to your own beliefs, uh, to your family. I also think it's extremely important as Mrs. United States to set an example for other women and men and children uh, by being a good leader, by be participating in your community, being out there, being involved, helping to get others involved in their community and really feeling like they're leading a full and passionate life. Thank you, Mrs. Texas. Mrs. Virgin Islands. How do you promote the people and organizations that support you as Mrs. Virgin Islands? Well, I'm sure you've heard my family here this evening, <laughs> and those are the people that support me. And actually, there's a couple people from the organizations that support me as well here, and I just am so grateful for them. But one of the uh, ways that I've been able to represent them is to be an example of humility and hard work and determination. I've been preparing to do this pageant for a year, and I've given 110%, and I stand before you, not just talking the talk, but I walk the walk. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Virgin Islands. <laughs> Mrs. Virginia. How can a woman of today successfully balance her life as a mother, a wife, and a career woman? 
Well, as a career woman in a demanding field, as a deputy sheriff, I have to work 12-hour shifts. And what you need to do is you need to separate your time. You need to keep your work at work and your love at home. And you have to give every minute that you're home to your husband and your children to make your family work. But the best thing to do is to keep the job at the job when you leave. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Virginia. And keep that applause going for all of our top 10 delegates in their question. I would like to welcome our top 10 delegates in their swimsuit competition, starting with Mrs. Alabama, Melissa Zwilling. <laughs> Melissa met her husband, Ed, during a job interview. She is a partner at a large law firm. After suffering a stroke in 2004, she became a spokesperson for the American Stroke Association. Her experience has given Melissa the greatest blessing of her life, including her baby girl. Mrs. Georgia. <laughs> Sherry Goggin. <laughs> Sherry enjoys league tennis, cardio spin classes, and weight training. However, Sherry admits the best workouts are chasing her three-year-old triplets. She and her husband, Tom, enjoy watching Jane Bond movies and look forward to their weekly date nights. Mrs. Idaho, Nicole Gearing. Nicole loves spending quality time with her husband and three boys. Being the only woman in her home, she looks forward to testosterone-filled weekend adventures in the winter. These include following her family up mountains on their snowmobiles. Little did she realize that the challenge was not climbing, but getting back down. Mrs. Kansas, Dr. Kimberly McDowell. As a newspaper reporter stated in a recent article, McDowell, a native Kansan, is more than just toned. She is Kansas beautiful, thin but strong, feet firmly planted, blonde but smart, focused on goals, with compassion and a face as open as a prairie sunflower turned to light. <laughs> Mrs. New Jersey, Susan Huntley. An adventurer at heart, this world traveler has skied the Austrian Alps, hiked the mountains of Japan, and has braved the rapids in Switzerland. A certified scuba diver and former lifeguard, this native of the New Jersey shore grew up with sand between her toes. <laughs> Mrs. New York, Jennifer Shinta Steller. The effects of Jennifer's brain injuries are lifelong, which has ignited her passion for her platform and give her a mission in life. Doctors told Jennifer and her husband that she'd never be on the stage again. Her persistence, determination, and faith proved them wrong. Mrs. North Carolina, Shannon Devine. Shannon has been blessed with a loving and supportive family, a successful marriage and career. She and Jason will celebrate their sixth wedding anniversary in December. Shannon says the key to a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Mrs. Texas, Jennifer Hayden. Jennifer holds a Bachelor of Arts in Communications. She is an account executive in the media advertising industry and has been married for three years to her husband, Jazz. They are the proud parents of a beautiful two-year-old daughter named Celie. Mrs. Virgin Islands, Tiffany Ellison. Tiffany and her husband, Jared, cherish each of their four lovely children who couldn't be more excited to be here tonight encouraging their mom. Her greatest delight is when her children show kindness and compassion. And if it happens while she's eating chocolate, it's a joy beyond joy. Mrs. Virginia, Janie Wines Phillips. Janie is a deputy sheriff for the Rappahannock C County Sheriff's Office. She shares her life with her husband, Brandon, and their two daughters, Brooklyn, seven, and Alexandra, two. Thank you, ladies, and let's hear it for our top 10 delegates in their swimsuit competition. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present the top 10 most beautiful married women in the United States. And among them is our next Mrs. United States 2006. Let's welcome our state delegates in their evening gown competition. Mrs. Alabama, Melissa Zwillin. This is Georgia, Sherry Goggin. Mrs. Kansas, Dr. Kimberly McDowell.
this is Virgin Islands. <laughs> Tiffany Ellison. This is Virginia. Janie Wines Phillips. applause going for all of our top 10 delegates and we're also going to invite all of our delegates back to the stage please keep that applause going for all of our delegates and our top 10 delegates in their evening gowns at this time we are going to hand out our special awards our civic award goes to mrs new jersey susan huntley Our Mrs. Photogenic Award goes to Mrs. Oregon, Jodine Barba. Now our next award is very special because the winner was selected by the delegates themselves. Mrs. Congeniality is Mrs. Maryland, Adrian Watson Carver. Mrs. Physical Fitness, Mrs. North Carolina, Shannon Devine. Our best design ad goes to Mrs. Michigan, Christina Austin Scarcelli. And our final award is our Audience Choice Award. You chose her audience. She is Mrs. Nevada, Juliet Komodo. And now, the moment we all came here for. The judges have completed their scores of the top 10 and cast their final ballots. The auditors have tabulated the points and the envelope is ready. May I have the envelope, please? Now we will announce the runners-up and Mrs. United States 2006, if we may have all of our top 10 step forward. Are you ready, ladies? The fourth runner-up, Virginia, Janie Phillips. Our third runner-up, Georgia, Sherry Goggin. Our second runner-up, Alabama, Melissa Zwilling. And now one of these lovely ladies will become Mrs. United States 2006. However, if for any reason she cannot fulfill her duty, the first runner-up will take her place. Our first runner-up is New York, Jennifer Shinta Steller. And the new Mrs. United States, 2006, Mrs. North Carolina, Shannon Devine. And Jason, if you can please join your wife on stage as she receives her sash and crown. Your new Mrs. United States, ladies and gentlemen, 
North Carolina, Shannon Devine. And Shannon, if you'll please take your walk. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mrs. United States 2006, Shannon Devine. And here comes your husband, Jason, to join you.